Welcome to Brent Jesse Recording and Supply, AudioTubes.com on the web. Today we'd like to introduce you to the latest member of our tube testing family, the RCA WT100A, which is a laboratory grade uh, professional tube tester, which at uh, various points in its history has been used on the production line at the RCA Harrison, New Jersey tube uh, factory and other tube uh, production factories around the world. Uh, research and development, etc. What makes this tester different from other testers is that it not only can test transconductance or GM of a tube uh, to a very tight tolerance, but it also does such things as uh, can measure uh, tube plate current and uh, current versus voltage drop of various tubes. Plus, it'll do the voltage drop of uh, diodes such as rectifier tubes uh, to a very accurate degree. Uh, nice thing is that it can be set to up to 300 volts on the plate, up to 300 volts on grids number two and four, uh, and uh, up to negative 100 volts on the suppressor grid and negative 100 volts uh, on the control grid. This tube tester has a meter that's extremely versatile. It has two scales, 0 to 3 and 0 to 10, which can be equal to 0 to 300, 3,000, 30,000, and the 0 to 10 scale can be 0 to 100, 0 to 1,000, 0 to 10,000, and 0 to 100,000. And of course, according to the latter, 0 to 100,000, we can actually read transconductance up to 100,000 micromoles. Uh, the tests on this are extremely repeatable because of the different adjustments that we have and uh, the tests are have an accuracy of within 1%. We're going to be testing a couple of antique tubes. This is, these are both uh, 6F6G octal base tubes and we're going to just do a very simple measurement for transconductance. Now we've already done the setup of the tester, but I'll go through it very quickly and I'll show you what we do, what we do once we've plugged the tube in. Uh, for the filament, we're on the 10 volt scale. Since this is a 6.3 volt tube, you push this to read and to fine adjust. And we go over to the meter and we're reading the 0 to 10 volt and it is right on the mark that shows it is 6.3 filament volts. Then we go to the plate volts and we need it to be 300. So we push this down and we're reading the zero to, th I'm sorry, the plate volts in this tube is 250 volts. So we're reading the zero to three scale and we'll fine tune that and that is right at 250. And then grids uh, two and four of the screen are supposed to be 250. So we push that and we're right there at 250. And then the grid number one, or the control grid, is supposed to be negative 16 and a half. So we push this and we read the uh, upper scale zero to three and we're right at 16 and a half. Then the uh, various pin assignments are all dialed in by these dials. Uh, all, you can go by an RCA receiving tube manual if you wish and uh, designate which is the plate, which is G2, which is G1, etc., which is the heater uh, voltage, etc., etc. Now to test the tube for shorts, there is a push button on the top of each pin assignment dial and you push it and you watch the shorts, me uh, the shorts lamp and it shouldn't light up unless it, it is specified in the book two, pin two is supposed to light up and it does. Some pins will only flash, that one will flash slightly. Five, six, and seven is supposed to light and it does. Eight and nine, okay. So this tube passed all the shorts tests. For the transconductance, there is a calibrate button. We're on the, it says the ca transconductance should be 2,500, so we're on the 3,000 scale. And to calibrate it, you push this and you adjust the meter for full scale deflection. And there we are. And then we read the GM by pushing this button and since it's 2500, we're going to be reading the 0 to 3 scale. And we're just on just a little hair below 2000, almost exactly 2000 micromoles for this tube. 
So we're going to pull this tube out of the socket. And if you want to match tubes with a high degree of accuracy, we've got another 6F6G that we're going to put in here. And this is hopefully going to make a matched pair. And while the tube is warming up, there is another little nifty thing with this. Uh, the actual tube modules, they're plugged into an island which contain several uh, sockets. This one has octal, 9-pin, and 7-pin. For all of the other tubes, there's a storage compartment on the front panel, and down below are Magnaval, Compactron, Acorn, Subminiature, Loctal, and all of the antique type sockets. So when those are needed, you merely pull them out and replace the socket that's in there. Okay, we're going to go through the adjustments again. 6.3 volts plate voltage should be 2500 on the top scale it is grids number two and four screen should be 2500 and they are I'm sorry I was saying uh, 2500 I meant 250 2500 would burn this tube up and then uh, for the control grid negative 16 and a half and we're right there on the top scale now we're going to calibrate the GM and we'll get it right on full scale deflection and it is and then we press uh, to read the GM and again it's on the top scale and we're very close I'm gonna fine adjust the heater just to make sure okay we're just a little bit low on the heater calibrate the GM one more time okay and we're reading the GM now and it is perfect. Now that all of the alignments have been made to match this tube to the other on this tube tester, we're within a few percent, within one percent of each other. And these uh, tubes could be considered a matched pair for transconductance. So give us a call at 847-496-4546. We'd like to be able to match some tubes for you with extreme precision using the RCA WT-100A. Thanks for watching.